Hello boys and girls, welcome back to a brand new review. This time we'll be reviewing the book The Call by Peter Ogilian. This is another book I have heard a lot about in the last few months from various booktubers as well as on Goodreads. I'm just hoping this book is better than the last one I got, I got because of popularity, which was Caraval. Anyway, it's time for a review. We get into means horror in this unforgettable thriller where only one thing is certain, you will be called. Thousands of years ago, humans banished the Sadie Fairy race to another dimension. The beautiful, terrible city have stood in the land of horrors ever since, plotting their revenge. And now their day has come. 14 year old Nessa lives in a world where every tea will be called. It could be in the middle of the day, it could be deep in the night, but one instant she will be there and the next she will wake up naked alone in the city land. She will be spotted, hunted down and brutally murdered and she will be set back in pieces by the city to the human world. Unless she joins the rare few who have survived for 24 hours and escape unscathed. Nessa trains with her friends at Academy designed to maximise her chances of survival. But as the days tick by, her classmates go one by one and the threat of her call lurks ever closer, with the threat of even more insidious danger closer to home. That uh, that part was taken for good reasons, just want to mention that from here. I want to start off by saying that this book is leaps and bounds better than Caraval. This book blows Caraval out of the water. The story is fantastic and probably the best story I've read about in quite a while. Nessie is the main character, but we get a chapter dedicated to each character that gets called, so we find out more about the uh, the land that is the city land. If and if each character is able to survive or not, and if not, then how uh, the city have planned to make them pay for what they have done. This makes the story more suspenseful, as you were wondering the whole time when a character is going to get called, and you end up hoping that it isn't any of the characters you like, as there is a good chance that they are going to die. The story has your grip from start to finish, and it makes you want to learn more about the world and just what it does to some people. There is a romance section in this book, and we all know that I don't really like that in a, in a book, but unlike most books, the two people who are involved in this romance are trying the hardest to keep it from, make it from happening. But no matter how hard they try, they keep getting drawn to each other and can't stop thinking about each other. The reason why I like this romance, romance is because it takes place over several years. From the day they first started the school until now, they are trying not to get into this romance even though it keeps happening. And they like each other because they are different to other people in their group, which is strange really. It makes you hope by the end of the book that they do get together. Peter Ogilvian describes everything in his book is just remarkable. This is because he describes Ireland in the way that it has become without anyone being able without anyone being able to help them, as well as, well as being able to describe the mysterious city lands. The way that our author does this is amazing. It makes the whole place very easy to imagine, which makes the author overall a more enjoyable read. Even though the book is classed as a horror book, I was I wasn't really scared. If anything, the book really isn't that scary at all. It has a weird race that, that kill people are at a random time in their life and make them pay. If anything, this book is more of a thriller, as it will keep you on the edge as you're going to get worried that your favourite character is to be called next. This is a great book, and I recommend that you go out and buy it as soon as possible. And I have an hour more, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.